story. The local Immigrations and Customs Office confirmed to me this afternoon that Special Agent Victor Avila, originally from El Paso, and another agent were attacked by gunmen while driving on a highway in Mexico. Avila was treated at this hospital in San Luis Potosi, Mexico. Gunmen shot him in the arm and the leg. Mexican police surrounded the hospital where he was treated for fear the gunmen would, try, would return and try to finish the job. Avila is now in the U.S. and remains in stable condition. His partner, however, was not so lucky. Special Agent Jaime Zapata was a four-year ICE veteran from Brownsville and based in Laredo. He had been stationed in Mexico City as part of a task force looking into human, human smuggling and border security. This is where it all began, on the road from Mexico City to Monterrey. Special Agent Zapata and Avila were traveling in, armored S in an armored SUV when they were stopped at an unofficial checkpoint near the town of San Santa Maria del Rio. Gunmen opened fire, spraying the SUV with bullets. Texas Senator John Cornyn called the brazen attack an alarming reminder that Americans are not immune to the escalating violence in Mexico. He said an attack on an ICE agent is an attack on all who serve this country. The White House today says it's working hard to find the culprits. You should know that the uh, uh, U.S. law enforcement agencies are working closely with uh, Mexican, Mexican authorities to investigate the shooting and that uh, the resources of the federal government are at the disposal of our Mexican partners. The governor of the state where the ambush happened says drug gang hitmen shot the two agents. If true, the attack could prove a major provocation to the U.S. ICE says the two men were the first of its agents shot in the line of duty in Mexico. Live in the News Center, Matt Rivers, News Channel 9.